Hello everyone, welcome back to Survival Addiction. Today we are doing a knife review for Wee Knives 704X. Um, this is a custom knife that Battlebox actually sent in one of their boxes. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and click the subscribe and like button and we'll get started. All right, so this knife is $119.99 MSRP. It's a D2 blade and it's 3.5 inches with a 4.5 inch handle. Honestly, for a D2 blade, I think 119 is a bit much, but this is a wee knife. Um, I honestly am kind of shocked that they didn't brand it as a Civivi knife because that is their budget blade. And since this is a D2 blade, I honestly would expect it to be less. That's just my opinion. Um, so it does have G10 scales. Nice texture there. Feels pretty good in your hand. And it's really fun to open. It is a liner lock. Um, and it does have a hollow grind. So as far as design goes, I would probably give this a seven. I'm not a huge fan of the price. I think it's way overpriced. So I probably would only give that a four. But because it is a wee knife, I'm gonna give it some points because people will buy it just because it's a wee knife. Um, it has a good weight to it. And like I said, I like the design. Material-wise, I do like D2 a lot. And that's why I'm going to give it a 5. But for the price, I don't feel like it can really get many more points than that. Just because it is overpriced. Um, this is a very sharp knife. Let's even give you a better look at it. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit more. Yeah, look at that. It's a nice knife, huh? So I do like this one a lot. I just am kind of annoyed that they mark it as, it as being worth so much. Um, just to give you an example of... Oh, I love that. I love opening it and closing it, really. It just is so comfy. So it feels pretty sharp. We'll give it a test. So I'm not even really doing like any pressure on this. Okay, so. Seems like it has a little bit of issues. It might need sharpened. Yeah, see, it went through really well on the first cut. But then it just started having issues. And I don't know if that's just because the paper is a little flimsy. Let's see if we can try it here. Yeah, it goes through pretty well on the paper that's a bit thicker. I'm sure that it just probably needs sharpened a little bit. But for honestly, for a $100 knife, I'd expect it to be razor sharp without needing sharpening it at all. Um, that's just my two cents. So if you are looking for a wee knife that isn't over $100, well, a lot over $100, like this is still like a $120 knife, so it still is over $100, but it's not like two to $400 like most of the wee knives. Um, this might be an option for you if you're just looking for a wee knife to add to your collection because you don't have a wee knife yet and you just have like a Civivi knife or something, which is technically part of wee knives. Um, so the overall score would be 5.75. So it's about a 6 as far as score-wise. Um, I kind of wish they had more variation with colors. They only had red, blue, and I believe they had black. And just not super exciting colors. I like the cooler knives, like, um, with, like, the cooler colors or looks like 
the copper knives, the brass knives, bronze knives, tail knives. I just think it could look cooler. But overall, it is a good knife. Like I said, just kind of annoyed with the price. And honestly, I probably could do that all day is just open it. Really, really nice. And it is centered really, really well. Let me see if I can show you that. Yeah, that is really nice. Really centered. Which is what I would expect from Wee Knives. Um, they are a well-known brand. And they, they're known for being really good knife makers. Um... But yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have any other knives that you want me to review, just go ahead and leave a comment with what knife that you've been looking at, and I might review it. Thanks so much.